Hello my dear friends of electronics. In this video I want to show you the influence of number of turns of the different ferrite cores. We will compare different ferrite cores from the material and also from uh, mechanics and also the number of turns of different um, influence of the impedances. Uh, for that we will use an impedance analyzer. This is a network analyzer in fact with an impedance fixture kit, terminal adapter for impedances and we will measure with different wires. So first of all, I will take a wire for a solid core. In fact, um, the thing is that when you have an EMC problem and uh, you cannot change so fast the design, the easiest way it is to try to catch this different emission or to increase the immunity, adding some ferrites on the cable. If you have a cable which is uh, not already made and you have no terminals, no connector, you can use the solid ferrite cores because this is uh, more advantage in terms of uh, cost. And let me see how much is that impedance by one single turn. So now I will put that into the impedance analyzer. I did make the calibration before to save some time. Okay, now I put that into impedance analyzer. We have by one single turn. I will store that in a data memory and let visualize the data memory so this curve will be maintained in the display. And from the same size and the same wire thickness, I have now um, split ferrite. It is the same material, just that the only one difference is the splitted one. Because sometimes you have already the cable done and you have the connector, you cannot put the connector through this hole, so you will need a splitted one. Now I take the splitted one. Take the same wire, close it, and connect it to the fixture. Now you can see some difference, of course, in the lower frequency here in this area up to 50 megahertz. Because of the splitting of the core, you will have some insertion loss, some less impedances. The high frequency already above 100 megahertz is no change at all, so it is very work very similar, no problem for any attenuation. Okay, this is just the comparison between splitted core and unsplitted core. Now, if you add here additional turns, like I have here a ferrite core with uh, one turn, now I will put some more turns, like what will happen if I put more turns to them? I will take the other one. So one turn, one time to ferrite, two turn, two times to the ferrite core. Let me see what will be the influence of two turns on the ferrite core. You can see at two turns you will have a massive increasing of the impedances in a low frequency but already above 100 megahertz the impedance decreased and now you have the resonation because of the wire length because you did build a choke or, or inductor and this have a self-resonant frequency already. At two turns already you have a capacity here, winding capacity and that makes that in the higher frequency you will have some resonant points because of this capacity. Okay, now I want to measure this as well and compare it with one turn. Now if I put the third turn, so let me check how to use the same wire for the third turn. Three times to the ferrite core. Now we have three turns and even if I try to put this capacity far away as possible, you will see that we will have still a lot of resonant points. Three turns. One turn, three turns. Now already above, I would say 60, 70 megahertz, already you have a problem that you will get not so big attenuation and in a low frequency, you will increase a lot the impedances, but you will lose everything what is in the high frequency above 
50, 60 megahertz, it's quite difficult to filter that. So this is uh, a reason why you can increase the impedance on the low frequency if you have in a low frequency or noise, but you will lose all the high frequency issues. Um, if you have different wire diameter, you can use bigger cores with bigger inner diameter or even the bigger size, what we have right now, it's quite very huge. You can use up to 30 millimeter uh, wire thickness. So this is the hugest one for very, very large cable. Um, just to compare it, what is the difference between the huge ferrite core and the small one? Again, just to compare and see what is the big difference. I will put also one single turn here and compare it. You see, it's not so big difference between the solid core because the length is the same and just the diameter is different. So because of the splitted one, you have the same effect like uh, here. Even it's a bigger size of the core. The core diameter, the size, do not influence the impedance. The length, yes. Number of turns, of course, as well. But not the size of the core. It's just because of the wire thickness. Now, how will it look if we will put some more turns? So what is the influence if I put something like, I will say, check this one as well, one turn, two turn, three turn, even the fourth one, let me check the fourth turns as well, I need more wire. So three turn, I will cut the wire here now again and put some more turns as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five turns. Five turns on the cable. away the isolation. Okay, you can see now you have a 10 megahertz or the maximum. It's a lot of impedance. I can go even with the marker. You can see with the marker, we have at one point here 10 megahertz. Impedance of roughly 4.7 kilo ohm. But if you go to the higher frequency, already at a couple hundred megahertz, you will have almost no influence, very, very weak attenuation because of the winding capacity which occur when you put more turns to the ferrite core. Yeah, what you can do, you can compare this now so many turns with uh, one different ferrite core, what we have in uh, manganese zinc because all these ferrite cores was used nickel zinc. And now if I compare that with a manganese zinc core, With the manganese zinc core, you can see that in a low frequency, you have already a high attenuation, a much higher attenuation already uh, at 2.4 megahertz or 5 megahertz. Uh, you have an excellent attenuation by using a manganese zinc core, but for high frequency, you will lose them. This is already a resonant point. So beginning from 30, 40 megahertz, the magnetic zinc core is dropping, doesn't have so big, big uh, attenuation. That's the resonant point because of the wire length. That's all about ferrite core and about windings. I hope you enjoy it. Please watch my next videos.